So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 97 of our Portsmouth career mode and to start off this episode we have an absolute massive bombshell. A player's been sold, Cal Naismith to Millwall but that's not the bombshell. Look at this guys. Atletico Madrid have said they're going to match £59.5 million for Andreas Christensen and Manchester United are going to match £63.5 million for Yannick Carrasco. That's over £130 million. Wow guys, this is incredible. I never thought thought we were going to be selling these sorts of players for that sort of money but we have somehow managed to do it we've sold two players for that much money Yannick Carrasco we brought in on a free we signed him on a pre-contract deal and Andreas Christensen I believe cost us 22 million pounds and within half a season we're selling him for 60 million pounds what a fantastic profit that is and what a mission we're on now to go ahead and buy players for £130 million. I would have never thought when we took over at Portsmouth we were going to be having that much money to play with. But it looks like we are. And let's see if the deals go through. But I'm pretty confident they will do. Oh, Javier Manquillo is just giving away a penalty. He's already on a yellow card and now he's giving away a penalty. Is the referee going to send him off? No, he's not. Thank God for that. He's not going to send him off, but he's given away a penalty. Javier Manquillo has had an absolute shocker early on. He's taken down Conor Wickham just inside the penalty area. Now it's going to be the former Tottenham man, Andros Townsend, to take on Archie Bell. Can Archie Bell keep him at bay? He can't because Andros puts the ball right into the top-hand corner. And we are 1-0 down in the first 10 minutes. We've got a lot of work to do if we want to try and keep our unbeaten record. Good ball through to Loten though. Loten's got a fantastic chance. Double step overs inside. Loten with a good chance. He goes to beat the goalkeeper at his near post. But Axel Werner with a fantastic save. Emery Moore with a good ball through to Loten though. Loten's charging down this left hand side. Loten with a fantastic chance. Lovely double step over. Cuts back inside, but that's a fantastic block. Good ball through to Emery Moore. Emery Moore through. A lovely one two with Gabriel. Emery Moore has actually let the ball run too far. Why didn't you take on the shot earlier? Lovely run from Dembele across the face of goal as he plays the ball back inside to Gabriel Barbosa. Barbosa through to Clever Menezes. Menezes lets fly and his P-roller goes wide off the post. So we're still searching for that goal, but it doesn't look that promising early on. So Gabriel doing fantastically well here as Gabriel's charging down the left-hand side. He's actually run out of energy, but he's going to try and cut back inside, which Gabriel does fantastically well. Can he keep on going? He can. And their defender takes him down. So the referee's awarded a penalty in the first half to them. And now he's awarded one in the second to us. Their captain takes down Gabriel after that fantastic run and the referee has no option but to point a penalty spot and it's going to be Gabriel up against Axel Werner. Gabriel surely, woof, he gets a little bit lucky to be honest because the penalty wasn't that strong but at least Axel Werner couldn't keep it out and we're back on level terms. Great goal, well not a great goal but great run anyway from Gabriel and the finish wasn't the best but it doesn't matter because it's still found its way in the back of the net. Good chance for Crystal Palace again though. Treble's been played through. Treble goes all the way. Andreas Christensen making a fantastic block. And this could be his last game for Portsmouth. And what a block it was as well. Thank God he made that block. A little bit, well, it's a shame to see him go. It's a sad situation. But at the end of the day, 60 million. We could not turn that down for a player that we spent 22 million on. Because now that means we can go ahead and bring in an 87, maybe 88 rated centre back. Which I'm sure we'll be able to do. But a good run from Gabriel here. Takes on his man. He goes for goal, but he gets too much power on it, and it goes over the bar. Emery Moore through to Yannick Carrasco, who's just come on the pitch. Yannick Carrasco tries to take on his man. He goes for the shot, but he gets it all wrong. So Yannick Carrasco, we did actually bring him on for the last few minutes because we want to get him a little bit of a run out in his, probably, what will be his last game for Portsmouth. But Connor Chaplin picks up the ball as he plays it through to Gabriel Barbosa. Barbosa out wide to Yannick. Yannick keeps on going. He's going to play the ball through to... Oh, we didn't want to play it through to him. But anyway, we play the ball through to Buffal. Buffal with a lovely skill move, but it just doesn't work. So, it just wasn't to be. We managed managed to beat Crystal Palace quite easily at their place, but when they come to us at Fratton Park, they made it quite difficult. I thought we did deserve a win, but a little poor mistake from us early on from Javier Manquillo, gifting that penalty to him, um, pretty much squandered our chances of picking up all three points, because at the end of the game, we weren't really that good really. I thought we should have played a little bit better. We probably should have put a few more shots away but I suppose at the end of the day we didn't lose. So we've got a transfer for Alex Conchenchal and it's to go on loan to Bristol City so we'll let him go without a problem at all. And then we've got player loaned. He's gone. Player suspended. So Javier Manquillo is going to be out for the next game. And the player conversation. Amano's not happy to play or we're not happy because he actually asked us to play but I didn't actually see that email. Maybe we're too interested in the transfer business that was coming up. Okay so now we've got some emails 
else. We've got the monthly scouting updates. We've got a transfer offer here for Reese Oxford to go to Aston Villa. We're going to want quite a bit of money for Reese. So let's say 37 million. And we know for a fact they will not go ahead and give us that. Lazar Markovic, someone's approached him, which we're not that bothered about. A player's been sold. So Yannick Kraska has gone to United for 58 million. Um, the other guy hasn't left yet, Andreas Christensen. So he should be available for the next game. And let's have a look at our monthly scouting updates. So we got Edson Ray still. He looks all right, but once again, his overall just isn't really that good. We've got Bruno Fernandes, no good. Alvarez, definitely no good. Clever Menezes, uh, no. Edson Rees, again, won't get rid of him. We'll get rid of him. And the last one, so Bruno Ferreira. So all the people from Brazil are nothing special at all. Then we've got uh, Thomas Farrell from Argentina. So Osvaldo Palacios, no good. Ponce is definitely no good. Hurtado is even worse. Granero is not bad. And Diaz, well. So no, none of our scouts have actually come back and brought back any worldies yet. We've got Kelly went to Palermo. We've got Sheena Harris we'll get rid of because, once again, his potential is not very good. That guy's potential is not too bad, but his overall is quite bad. We've got Dylan Baker. We've got Peter King we'll get rid of. Dylan Baker we'll get rid of. We'll get rid of Harrison Lee. Uh, Jay Morris, we might as well get rid of him as well. And we'll get rid of Callum Roberts so not one player have we actually thought wow this guy's good so a little bit of a shame about that but we have got a bit of money now that we can try and look for a new player so now it's time for the second game of the episode where we will be taking on Manchester United in the FA Cup round four it's not going to be an easy tie as it will be a very tough one but we will be taking on the Red Devil so let's see how we can get on play up Portsmouth it's going to be a tough tie so now we've got the chance with Hugo Azevedo as he's waiting for the run of Gabriel. We play the ball through to Gabriel. Oh, what a challenge that was from Eric Bailly. And he's actually a player that we are looking at signing if the deal goes through for Andreas Christensen. But the deal is taking a long time to go through. So I think the contract negotiations are not going as planned. But Memphis with a good chance as he goes for goal. And that's another player that we're looking at. Memphis Depay to replace Yannick Carrasco. What a ball that is through to Gabriel though. Gabriel's charging through. I think his first touch might take it away from Guillermo Varela. He takes him on. He goes for goal. It's a fantastic save from David De Gea. But we're going to try and take on um, Memphis at the near post, which we do do. Memphis goes to ground. Safian Bufal goes over his outstretched leg in the 13th minute. We've got the chance to take the lead. Memphis, a player that we've actually put a bid in, is saying, actually guys, I want you to go through because that means I will be playing in the FA Cup if you do so sign me it's a clear foul Safian Bufal goes one way then the other and it's going to be Gabriel Barbosa up against David De Gea and that's a fantastic penalty into the back of the net to give ourselves a 1-0 lead just 14 minutes in at Fratton Park we've taken the lead and the only man that scores the penalties for us Gabriel Barbosa or Gabby Goal, whatever you want to call him dispatches that penalty high into the roof of the net and that was a fantastic finish get in Another good chance of playable through to Osama Dembele. Osama Dembele's one on against David De Gea. And David De Gea's pulled off a tremendous stop to deny him. That was Stavant out wide to Buffal. Buffal to try and cut back inside. And his skill move goes horribly wrong. But we do win the... Oh, I thought we'd won it back there. Or oh, we do. Tell me win that. No, we nearly do though. David De Gea's giving the ball straight to Gabriel. And he... Has got his second of the game. 28 minutes into the game. David De Gea may have made a fantastic save earlier on to deny Dembele. But now he's gone ahead and gifted us a goal. What is he doing? We go one way to try and fool him. The pass across to Chris Smalling was not strong enough. And Gabriel... Barbosa with a simple finish into the back of the net. We're 2-0 up. Osama Dembele wins the ball back. He plays the ball through to Gabriel Barbosa. Out wide to Sefian Bufal, who tries to let fly, but it does get blocked very well. But I do think we're playing fantastic in this game, to be honest. Manchester United have failed to trouble us. Apart from that fantastic save from Archie Bell, they haven't really done anything. Good ball round the corner to Emre. Can't Emre get on the end of it? He can't. But we're still going to have a chance if we can win that back from Fosu Mensa. But we can't. And they go on the attack now. But Josh Vela actually stepping in in this game instead for the um, suspended Javier Manquia. Wins the ball back. He's played ball to Hugo Azevedo. Through to Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus through to Safian Bufal with a roulette. Pass to Emre Moore. Emre Moore back inside. As Safian Bufal does well. Tries to squeeze it out wide. But it doesn't quite get out there. 
Yannick Kraschko takes on our man. He's playing against us in his first game at 4 United. On his debut, he's playing against our former club, or his former club, which is obviously us. But we play ball to Hugo Azevedo through to Emre Moore, through to Stavance. And now Stavance through to Gabriel Barbosa as we've got the chance to go on the counter-attack. Through to Osama Dembele. He does well to cut back inside and now he loses it. So a little bit of us being a little bit too cocky there and has come back to haunt us. Hopefully it's not going to haunt us that much because they play a lovely ball over the top to Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay has got fantastic chance. He plays the ball to the far post to Luke Shaw and Archie Bell gets across his goal to make a good save. But now we've got a chance to wrap it up, haven't we? Because we've booted the ball out of field and Emery Moore's clear one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Not unless Gonalons is going to catch him up. It doesn't look like it. Emery Moore against the goalkeeper. Roulette goes to one side and David De Gea makes the save. But Emery Moore now is one-on-one. -on -one. He plays the ball across to Gabriel Barbosa. Gabriel Barbosa to take on Smallin. Can he found the back of the net? Gabriel, there we go. He picks up his third of the game to wrap up the tie. And that is what we paid the big money for. This guy is, without a doubt, our best signing I think we've ever made him or Emery Moore because he just keeps on scoring. What a fantastic finesse that is. Past David De Gea with 3 no up. We've dominated the game. However, here's Emery Moore as he plays the ball through to Sofiane Buffal. Buffal back inside. Oh, he was offside. I'm going to say we had a fantastic chance, but uh, Gabriel Barbosa was standing in offside position. But that looks like it's going to be it for the game because obviously, unless Manchester United can score three goals in the space of two minutes in FIFA added on time, or maybe we can score one as we've got the ball with Gabriel Barbosa. He tries to take on his man, but referee just blow the full time whistle. We're not really that interested in scoring a game. I don't think we will. Uh, we can't there. And the referee blows a full time whistle and we end up winning the game by three goals to nil. We're round two, round five of the FA Cup. Gabriel Barbosa goes ahead to pick up his match ball because he truly deserved it. We dominated the game. We had 10 shots and nine of them were on target. Gabriel Barbosa picks up a 10 rate and of course our man of the match as we progress to the next round. So guys, what we've decided to do is Castillejo, this guy here, his contract's expiring in six months' time. So we're going to go ahead and offer a, a contract, a pre-contract deal, and let's see what we can get. We've also got some emails come back. So we offered contracts loads of people to Julian Brandt. They were accepted a 45 million one for him. Man City say no for Raheem Sterling. Man United say no for the Depay. They want 53 million. Man City want 63 for Leroy Sane. They want 78 for Sanabria. They also they give us 90 million for Rezox. So we say no. Juventus want 88 million for Coleman. Spurs say yes for Delhi Alley. 55 million for Delhi Alley. Um, Paul Pogba obviously we won't get our hands off Dortmund say no for Weigl the suspension's over and Josh Fellas picked up a suspension as well but guys I cannot believe this 55 million for Ali has been accepted we're going to go ahead and offer him a deal and let's see if he accepts it because if he accepts it we just push Buffal out to the left and Delhi Ali a 90 rated Cam will be joining the club and Delhi Ali's accepted it so we're going to bring in Delhi Ali to the club 55 million Pounds for a 90 rated play. He's the first 90 rated player that we have signed at the club and what a fantastic deal it is but we're still waiting to see what's going to happen with Andreas Christensen. Have we sold him? I'm not sure guys. Well we obviously haven't sold him because we haven't got any money left but we have got no notifications come through to say he's been sold. And we've got a transfer offer now for Victor Stavance to go to Chelsea. We're going to want a little bit more money. We'll say 18 million for Victor Stavance. If they say yes we will let him go. And Reese Oxford of course we're not going to let Reese go for 19 million. Never in a million years. And guys, look at that. Since Spurs sold us Delhi Ali for 55 million, they've now spent 69 million on Alan Halilovic, 89 rated cam. I don't know why they've done that. Delhi Ali's a better rated and he's the same age. We sold him for we brought him 55 million, which is way less than his valuation, and they actually accepted it, which really Perplex me. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know why they decided to do that. But we picked up Delhi Ali for fifty-five million pounds, and that's by far our biggest signing we are ever going to make. But that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit like button down below, as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.